currently. <laughs> Hi there. Excuse Josh's cursing if you heard that. So, uh, it's been a hot minute, guys. Hello. Yes, it is. Hi, everybody. Um, it's been hunting season, so somebody's been very. Well, that, and I started a new job. A little bit, a little bit of busy season. Um, on Wednesday, let's see, today's Monday. By Wednesday, I've worked 13 days in a row. Crazy. So it's it's been a bit of a lot of stuff. Yes. But we had somebody message us and send three crematory scenes that they wanted us to do, and I said, hey, it's been a hot minute since we've done one of those, so. Let's do some review. So we are going to um, do the video. We're gonna watch some, and I'm gonna t give you guys a minute to like pull it up yourselves if you wanna watch it with us. Uh, it might be the easiest way to do it because we don't wanna. Uh, it might be the easiest way to do it. I'm also trying to pull this up so we can watch your comments. There we go. No, now we can see it. Um, so, let's see. Let's hop over to Instagram. So, Brian had sent us three death care scenes to watch in a movie and get our, get our feedback. So, the first is going to be the Sorry. crematorium scene from Return of the Living Dead. Dead. All right, so go ahead and Google Return of the Living Dead crematorium scene. There you go. <laughs> Looks kind of like that. <clears throat> and then we're going to watch it here. It's about a minute and a half long. We're going to tell you what we think about it. Then I'll turn up hotter for the heart. What about the split dogs? They got some fast split There's dogs. There's two the flames. No. That's not how it works. It <laughs> Literally looks like a no. op looks like a pizza oven. And there's little bags with moving things inside of them. Like what is inside of it? tissue can you ever fully pull, burn, it, burn yeah. up right. everything if there's bones you can never burn them down to nothing no you have to pulverize them that's it's kind of like them. yeah that's what oh oh them. look oh my gosh okay so there's white smoke of course and then the music starts playing if there was a lot of smoke billowing out of the crematory stacks Anytime I burned a body, we'd have trouble. Okay. I do think every cremation should have like a theme song play when it's happening, right? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> definitely a soundtrack. And then the storm starts and then the rain starts. I think that's just because it's the walking dead, you know, starting. It's pretty funny. It's so movie, you know, it's Hollywood. It's all just uh, cliche. Uh, well, that was interesting. Okay. So the next one. Yeah. The Oh, more the, the return of the living dead. Burn the flames. Oh, geez. Return of the living dead. Burn the flames is what it's called. How is it playing even though I'm... I don't know. I'll just stop it and start it over. Because something's wrong. Oh, I think the music from the first one was playing. So Return of the Li Living Dead, Living Flames is the next one we're going to watch. Oh no, Burn the Flames. There you go. Okay, he's got... Took off his ring and he's bowing before the retort. Who does that? Now he's pulling out the oh, thing. Oh, there's no way he could touch. It. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, and he's in there. he's crawling in himself. 
He'd be on fire. So he must have gotten he must have gotten bit by one of the dead or something. I don't know. Have I ever seen this movie? I have no idea. I don't remember watching this. But so he must this. have turned into a zombie and he's trying to get rid of himself because he know that he knows that it's happening. So you can't crawl in. You can't close the door uh, yourself. That unit, that unit is so hot that you can't have that door open. I mean, when when I was raking that unit and cleaning it out i mean i've got protective gear on and you do it as quick as you can i mean you do a good job but you do it as quick as you can because it's hot you don't stand in front of that like that that's crazy <laughs> all right so now we've got phantasm two mortician burned in cremator see i don't remember this one either phantasm two i remember phantasm one i never seen it until i went to mortuary school and my buddy Corey, love you, Corey, and we used to watch all the horror movies together. His, him, and his brother were Jesse were obsessed with horror movies. I never seen Phantasm with the floating ball that comes like right at you down the hallway and stuff. Um, totally great B horror movie, but this is Phantasm Two. I have never seen. Oh shoot! I gotta get back to the point now. Who is that from? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Was it Brian? Yes. Um, so now we're doing Phantasm 2, Mortician Burned in Cremator. I love these horror movie ones <laughs> because it's totally oh, Halloween right now. Heck yeah. Oh, so there But looks most like, of this stuff is so, like, cliche. And looks like there's a chick who's not. probably alive, and she's got tape over her mouth. <laughs> oh, we're going to pick her up now, and we're going to put her on the thing to send her into the... No, again, the door's open. He's in front of that. I'm telling you, his eyebrows would be melting to his head if he stood there too long. It's hot. You can't do that. Yeah, it's not like there's a little flame going. Just a little flame. That's no big deal. If, if you didn't have protective gear on, you'd be... Oh, she's rolled out and jumped oh. out of the way. Oh, and there's a battle ensuing. Oh, oh she hit him in the, the balls and the head. Oh, and she's throwing him. Oh, and he has rolled out of control so fast into the retort and she has shut the door and he cannot get out. He wouldn't be screaming still. <laughs> It'd be quick. Oh, that's a bad. No, those I don't are, even think that's a B nah, horror movie. Those are, that's funny. That's it's like a inter entertaining, but no, very horrible. unrealistic. I can tell you that. What was the other one somebody sent us that, um, the one where he's the sniper? Oh, guys, make some comments. Um, what's his name? He was in, uh, he sings Shallow with. Are you talking about Bradley Cooper? Yeah, You're talking he, about the, uh, the well, sniper movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where he Ooh, was. What's Bradley Cooper's sniper movie? Someone has said there is a funeral scene in Bradley Cooper's sniper movie. Yeah. Funeral scene, Bradley Cooper. Kyle, uh... Oh, what's Kyle's last name there that he was oh, playing? Oh, dang it. Nope. Drawing a blank. For Sniper movie. <clears throat> anyway, that's what someone else had sent me that one. American Sniper American funeral sniper. scene. Okay, yeah. here we go. So American Sniper funeral scene. Okay. Type that one in. Yeah, Leo, you're so good, Leo. You are like on it. Chris Kyle was killed that day Chris by a veteran Kyle. he was trying to help. So you got all the police cars and yes, if you usually have a yeah. military active duty police officer killed during the line of duty, you have a, a lot, <clears throat> yep. a lot of personnel that are going to lead the hearse Indeed. in, um, when we have brought people into our care that are police officers, whether they died active duty or natural causes or anything, 
we may have 30 plus patrol cars that escort their body to the funeral home. And then some will stay on site as long as they're in the building the whole time. And they'll rotate out different military. You know, if you have an active duty like this where you do, people will line the streets. People, yep. as long as they know when the procession is coming, they will line the streets, they will line the roads, they will surround the place with flags and everything. Yep. 100%. So this is very <clears throat> true to form. Yeah. Um, you'll see this with firemen. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. Um, active do when they come home and they know they're coming down the highway and they will line the overpasses as well with, you know, so that when they pass under the overpasses, there will be things it's over the top. Pretty typical, yeah. So I'm thankful we don't do these type of services all the time because they're Ooh, very, a lot. on one side, they're very emotional. On the other side, they're very detailed. They are very, whew, they're just heavy. They're cumbersome because you have so many moving pieces. You're trying to coordinate with the military, with all these people, with this, that, and the other. And it does get very busy yeah, it's um, crazy. where you can't just do your part because there's so many moving pieces so sometimes yeah. that does get heavy so this is, looks like it's the literal the opening of this movie I have not seen this movie have you seen this movie? I've seen it but only once that's why I was watching sitting here staring at it again because I, <clears throat> I don't fully remember the beginning of it and maybe there's a different movie scene in here that you're asking about since this looks like real live footage from No, it is. Yeah. Looks like somebody walks up and takes their bars and they hammer their the hammer them into the casket. Their star are they stars? Yeah. Into the casket. Which is pretty cool. I've not seen that done uh, in person. I have not buried cool. myself an active duty person who maybe this is what they're talking about this might looks like it might be from the actual movie i have not buried an active live or uh, live active duty where they've died over in service i've buried someone who was active duty died home side here in the states um got hit by a drunk driver and so she had an escort and a military detail and everything but it wasn't quite what maybe an active duty if they were active duty i've buried one active duty that was killed over in the middle east and it's yeah it's a big deal <clears throat> yeah this is what they were talking about so in movies and in tv shows what is crazy is funerals are always at the graveside not always but majority like tv shows and everything the funerals always end up like they're at the graveside right. and the headstone's always in place no nope. and there's no tent that's not realistic they're always outside and the weather's always beautiful yeah not the case yeah not real There's always the appropriate number of people. Cars are lined up perfect. That oh. never is working either. Yeah. A lot of times to me, the lowering device isn't set up right either. This is a military cemetery that has the upright 